Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Deep Motion update that just happened, I think, last week or maybe a couple of days ago. But pretty much, there's an update on the Deep Motion Animate 3D. I know I made a video about this about two weeks ago. So let's take a look and see what's the change and what the difference is. Let me go ahead and just do a default one. And I already have a file that I downloaded from Adobe Stock right here. And the change is right here default locking. So you have auto now, always, never, and grounding. But what I'm really curious about is did this update actually improve the way that the AI is reading the animation from the video file? So let's do that. Uh, have that. Let me set it for auto right now because it is actually the best setting as far as I know. It says right there recommended for general cases. So we'll do that and we'll just do the physics filter yep remove self penetration pretty much the same thing we did last time so let's do a create an animation and that should be uploading this video here now I am going to be doing a tutorial on this on how you can take this information in animation into Unreal Engine 4 but I'm just waiting for them to release a remap asset so you guys don't have to remap it uh, hopefully they will release it I did ask them to release it because that would help you guys tremendously so you don't have to remap every single socket and every single bone uh, all you have to do is load it up I'm trying to make it easier for you guys so hopefully they'll have that out and as soon as they have that out I will make a tutorial on how to take the animation you get from here and use it in Unreal Engine 4 all right, it looks like it is now loading up and let's see how well this translated. Hold down left mouse button. Okay. That's pretty cool. Now, yeah, you can definitely tell that the foot is sticking a lot better than it did before. Um, check out my previous video on this Deep Motion Animate 3D and you will see what I'm talking about. This is cool. All right, so if I press I. That didn't do too bad, to be honest. Obviously, it's not going to be as good as mocap, like an actual mocap suit, but honestly, I think for like a head and shoulder talking, I mean, this is pretty extreme. This guy's dancing his butt off. For like a standing idol or just talking, I think it would work. So what I'm going to do is just download this animation, and what I'm going to do, like I said, is make a tutorial about this from here to go to Unreal. So let's download the animation, and... I will do adult male is okay. Whoa. Jeez. Let's do adult male and then we'll do an uh, FBX here. Alright, so I'm going to download that and we'll play around with that a little bit. But right now I only have the freemium. So if you guys don't know how this works, um, you can subscribe. So everything is kind of like the cloud. So let's take a look at this real quick. So for freemium, you get 60 animation seconds a month. Um, max 720p input, export FBX, BVH, and MP4, then $9 a month to get 100 animations, so like 2 minutes, no, like 3 minutes, sorry, a month, so it goes up to that. So yeah, if you guys want to check this out, go ahead, I mean, it's just another solution for you guys out there who necessarily can't afford a motion capture suit. And it did just have that update, which adds the foot locking, which I think uh, definitely, definitely getting better. It's, it's definitely getting there, you know? So you want to make a movie in Unreal Engine 4 using the new meta-human characters, but don't know how to do it. Well, I got the video just for you. 